All right, y'all, we're gonna use this video to help us identify and use our materials to find and see our fingerprints. What you need to check out one of your own fingerprints is a pencil, a piece of white paper, and some clear tape. First, Okay, we should have those materials, whether you're at home or if you're at school. Tear off a piece of tape. It doesn't have to be too big, just enough to cover the tip of your finger. Put the tape on the table so that the sticky side is up. Then you... Okay, so again, we just need a small piece of tape and let's just make sure that sticky side is up. Use the pencil to make a nice dark spot on the paper. Make it really dark. Now take your pointer finger and rub it on your forehead right next to your hairline. This will help Help to put some extra oil on that finger and to okay so for this one she is saying put your pointer finger so in the form below you're gonna see that i'm gonna ask you for your right index finger and your left pinky finger okay those are the two fingers that we're gonna examine their fingerprints okay so she wants us we want a little bit more sweat right so we want to rub our forehead just a little bit so you get some more oil on there um, and then we're going to do this next step to make a better fingerprint press your pointer finger on the pencil spot rock it back and forth like this now press your finger down onto the sticky side of the tape try to make sure you press straight down so you don't smudge your fingerprint carefully peel the tape off stick it onto the clean side of the paper and smooth it out gently can you see your fingerprint? Scientists have noticed that there are three main patterns in fingerprints, the arch, the loop, and the whirl. I think that mine looks like a whirl. Cool. And you. Okay, so see, she was able to find hers and it looked like a whirl. You're gonna identify yours. And in the form, there's gonna be an image that's gonna help you out. However, there's some more steps that we need to take. Sorry, one sec, y'all. There we go, help me out here. Okay, so we're gonna have this image here that's gonna help us remember it is our right index finger that we need from our right hand, if you're right-handed, and then our left pinky finger. Okay, we're gonna use those two. Again, these are the directions we follow, right? We can darken and color in um, with our pencil on the white paper, we have our piece of tape already set, sticky side up. Then we're gonna go ahead and place our right index finger. We could do that one first. Down on the pencil markings. And right, we're rubbing it from side to side. It's gonna look a lot like number four here. Then we're gonna place that on the sticky part of the clear tape. When we do that, we just wanna press down. This time we don't wanna rub it. We just wanna press down, then you're gonna have that marking, your fingerprint on the tape, and then you put it on your paper. So, hmm, okay, you got your index finger. You gotta follow these steps for your pink, for your left pinky finger as well. Then, well, I wanna see your fingerprints, right? I wanna make sure, hey, you identified them correct. So you're not gonna throw those two pieces of tape away. You're gonna tape them to your paper then if you're using a Chromebook, you're gonna use a Chromebook to take a photo. Okay, so you're gonna use your camera on your Chromebook to take a photo. I'm gonna show you how to do it with your iPhone or just any phone um, if you don't have a Chromebook or if your camera's not working, right? Remember, we're going to electives. Once we've taken those photos, we go to Friday electives or forensic science class, right? And then you're gonna have forensic science 1113, today's date. You're gonna go where it says add or create. And finally, you're gonna click on Google Drive and you're gonna attach your photos in there. We did this um, for our forensic science um, crime scene photos as well. So it's the same process. Now let's say you're like, Mr. B, my Chromebook is not working well. Well, you can also do it through your phone. If you're on campus, make sure to ask your teacher for permission to use your phone, okay? Ask them first. Once it gave you the heads up, once it gave you the A OK, um, then you can take, again, you're taking the photo of the taped 
fingerprint on your paper, and then you're emailing them to me. My email is right there, embermudas at austinachieve.org. And just make sure to include your name so I know who I'm receiving it from. So what do you turn in? You're gonna turn in photos of your fingerprints, either using your phone or a Chromebook. You're gonna send me the, the photos, either through email or Google Classroom. Make sure to include your, include your name and hey, what? Throw your grade in there as well. And finally, you're gonna identify your fingerprint in the Google form. That's the tricky part. Is it a loop? Is it a whirl? Is it an arch? Okay, use that image in the form to help you out. So what if you, I don't have the supplies? Well, in this case, you're gonna still take a photo, but this time of your fingers, right? Of your index finger, and you're gonna get as close as possible to the camera, Chromebook camera, to your phone camera. I'm gonna try to identify these. And you're also gonna try to identify these using those photos. Okay, so if you don't have those materials, it's gonna be a little bit harder for you, I'll be honest with you. That's why I try to give you a heads up from last week. But you still have to send me those photos, not of your fingerprints, but of your actual fingers. So your left pinky finger and your right index finger. 